Well, it's been an interesting evening. We've been doing a lot of driver updates, a lot of uh, testing, benchmarking, and so far everything's going really well. We're pretty much done. About to go to bed here. Um, client and I have been working on the PCs, and uh, we're pretty happy with where things stand. So um, I just figured uh, I would go over uh, some final shots in the case so you can see all the RGB in its full glory. So here is our Fractal Torrent Nano. As you can see, now that the RGB is fully activated, that, that light strip combined with the two memory dims, the cooler, and the exhaust fan, and we've got our 1070 in there now. Inside of the case looks really nice. One thing that I didn't realize until we had this lit up, that front fan, it really lets you look down the barrel. I like that a lot. It's a really cool look. Something I didn't expect from this case. So yeah, this system has been, uh, well, we're doing our uh, long-term stability tests. So I'm gonna leave both of these run overnight on uh, running Unigen in heaven. So this one's been going for a couple of hours now. It's uh, rock solid, sitting currently at 64 degrees. So pretty good. And then we'll go over here. Um, same thing, here's our thermal take. As you can see, we have our RTX 3080 in there now. Huge GPU. Uh, client has already started playing around with the ability to add animated GIFs to the LCD. I thought that was really neat. Uh, she decided on a cyan look for all the uh, RGB for now. So there's the front intakes. Let's see from the left side. Went around the right here. And then the view from up top. So yeah. So this will end uh, this will end this particular section of the playlist. Um, I did get the rest of those parts today from the client. So when we update again, we're gonna be going over um, stripping down and cleaning of that PC and then rebuilding that as the emulator PC for the client. Um, she's not gonna be uh, taking that back this weekend. There just isn't enough time. But uh, over the coming weeks, uh, we'll be preparing that. And uh, we'll be taking the components that we've got from those from that PC and, and rebuilding it into a, a Linux-based Botticera emulator, similar to the playlist we did a couple months ago. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna end this part for now. Thanks for watching.